Hello everyone. So we have been in Thailand for two weeks and one day. Uh, a lot of you were wondering where we went. We are in Thailand and um, it has been uh, an adventure since the moment we got here with our 12 suitcases and how many carry-ons? Four? We had about no, 18 two, total four, bags. 18 bags total. Two, four, six, Two eight. instruments. And two instruments. And um, so what do we think? We have um, enjoyed our time here very much, but we have been very hot. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Very hot, 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 all the time hot. Uh, we're very thankful to God that yesterday and today um, we were in the 80s. So I checked the weather right now, it's 87. And we feel very comfortable. Um, we we just recently moved. Uh, this is the tonight is going to be our fifth night in our home, and we are trying to get ourselves together. But while we looked for homes, it was interesting. They don't they don't do like a realtor where you tell them kind of what you want and they look at all the listings. No, it's it doesn't it doesn't happen like that. It's just um, what is it like? Each realtor has their own listing, so you have that's to, all they show. and their that's listings. all they show. They don't show other people's listings, or people just kind of drive around and look to find an empty house to find, um, you know, a neighbor that knows a phone. the front um so anyways enough with the house um maybe so, later on we'll show you guys some things i did my first load of laundry today because my husband put together our drying machine which is a clothes hanging rack and it's a cloudy day beautiful weather i don't know if i'll get my clothes to be dry by the end of the day but anyway so we did that but let me tell you just really quick and then i'll i'll have renee talk a little bit but um we for me culture shock yes i've experienced some culture shock um just the whole taking off your shoes uh thing it's interesting um so i said at church there's a, a small group of, of uh christians that have gathered together and they're you know wanting to it's growing into a church plant and when we went to worship with them uh, we had to all take our shoes and that was like really different like just I'm not used to taking off my shoes in public places like that um, So that was different um, What else is different? Of course, they drive on the opposite side of the road um, Opposite side of the steer, you know in the car the steering wheel uh, People are very nice very sweet. We don't understand anything and uh, uh, the other day we went to a supermarket and I told my daughter, my oldest daughter, let me just go over there and see how much these things are or what what those things are. I had no idea. I couldn't read numbers. I didn't understand the letters. So yeah, that was a little culture shock where it's like, oh, I don't know what's happening. So we are going with our friends shopping and we only buy what we saw them buy uh, because we don't know what the other stuff is. Even even uh, just everything has a lot of seafood and things that we are that we don't eat because we're um, mainly vegetarians. Um, so uh, we weren't too sure. We went to the night market and they were selling frogs to eat, eels. Um, I don't know how many other things. Um, uh, what were some of the other uh, turtles? They were selling turtles. These are all things that they eat. So obviously, as a vegetarian, all those things kind of. <gasps> Uh, uh, crabs and all kinds of fish, fresh fish. They're still like, they're wiggling still around. wiggling around. So um, people are super nice. The other day, some of our friends, new friends that we've made, they're Filipinos. They said to my husband, wow, you have some big feet, you know. In my country, those, you know, shoes that size are only for display. So obviously that was kind of funny because, uh, Renee's feet, he's size 13, so it's kind of different. You don't see a lot of big uh, big shoes around here. 
Uh, what else in terms of culture shock? I don't know. I think the only thing that comes to mind right now is that I've been so hot, like hot all the time, like super hot. Like why did I bring a bunch of jeans if all I want to wear is like a dress like this because it is so hot. But um, we're going to get used to it. Our friends told us that when they first got here, they sweat and sweat and sweat and that's all they did. And that's all we have been doing except yesterday and today. Uh, yesterday we went to get some vaccines. We got one in each arm, uh, Japanese encephalitis, and we have to take typhoid as well. Tetanus. Tetanus Probably. and some other boosters that we needed. But the hospital was like a hotel. The AC, we decided that that's where we're going to go and hang out when we're so tired of being hot. Uh, we spent there many hours. The and oh, my daughter says, oh yes, the mall. And at the mall there's AC. But that's one of the things that I find different. Everything is at the mall. You have supermarkets, you have all the banks are at the mall. I do not like going to the mall unless I need to buy something once, twice a year, three times a year and that's it. But here, like you run a lot of errands at the mall. You connect, your, you connect your cell phone, you connect your internet. And, um, and, and, and you see many things. And you see many things, that's right. But I feel like I'm rambling, so here is my hubby. So other than that, I'm not sure what I can add to all of what she said, but um, definitely the shoe thing is different. So moving here, if I didn't have to wear my orthotics, I would actually just bring sandals because you have to take off your shoes in, in most houses. So, um, but it's more comfortable for me to wear my orthotics. So that's the only reason why I wear those, but um, definitely sandals go a long way here because everybody's I'm going to take them off. doesn't matter where you go. Well, if you go to a house, if you go to church, if you go to different places, yes, you have to take them off. Um, definitely, like my wife was saying, the food is different. Um, being vegetarian, it's, it's harder to find things here because they sell so many uh, options that have meat in it or seafood or fish or things that, that we actually don't eat. So um, that's definitely something that's different. Um, like she said, people are very nice, um, always smiling, uh, very polite, very helpful. Um, I, I did see that the mall is kind of like the center for everything that you do, like she was saying, mm -hmm. because every time that you have to take out money or go to the bank or um, you can go grocery shopping there, you can buy appliances there, any electronics, phones, um, just about anything under the sun. You can even, <laughs> for the Thai people, learn English there in the mall. Um, so there's definitely many things that you have to do at the mall. So I guess we'll be spending a lot of time at the mall here in Khan Ken. Um, but other than that, that's about all I have to add to what she said for now. Um, we'll keep you updated as to some of the other things that we are going to be running into and sharing with you. And Lena wants to share something. One thing that I found that was really... Here's a little store that we um, bumped into it, and that's some vegetarian food uh, at the supermarket, some seafood, and coming back from the night market, we did some grocery shopping. Corn ice cream, I'm not sure I'm gonna try that, and here's a little bit of our breakfast, passion fruit. One thing I found as a culture shock was how long the lights are when you're in the road and you have to stop. Um, it's 101 seconds that you have to wait. And my dad didn't know that um, on a red light, you can turn left, I guess. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know that. So nobody was honking at him. And he had like a million cars behind him. And nobody was honking at him at him and he must have been there three minutes not knowing that he could go and these patient people just not honking at you at all until a motorcycle drove up to my dad and he went and then another thing I found interesting was um, the shoes taking off at your house we were joking that it's not imp that it's not important to buy nice looking shoes or anything here because you have to take them off anyway. <laughs> so nothing has to be matching. It's my nice new washing machine. And there's like this 
sound every time you turn on the water this like water pump or something makes this noise so that's new for us but um my drying machine and my washing machine Ooh la la <laughs> okay 